What's up, University? Smoking with Bob here. Hey, I'm uh, going to do a uh, quick review of Element Tobacco's Cookie Monster, which was voted on by everybody here at University. I put a poll out there for a bunch of different flavors, and Cookie Monster was the winner. Uh, I've already smoked Cookie Monster twice, and uh, I will go over that, how I liked it, in just a moment. Just Let's get a few more people on here. And uh, we'll get packing a bowl. Who do we got? For some reason, it's not showing me who I'm looking at right now. But uh, I can't see. Let me try it. Look to see who's on board here. Let's see. Let's see. Do, do, do. I don't know. For some reason, it's not, it's not showing me who's watching right now. But uh, I appreciate everybody who's here. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's head over and start packing a bowl. Uh, what I'm going to be uh, smoking uh, you, uh, hookah today is going to be the uh, Vesper. And I'll show you that real quick. So let's flip the camera. Going to use the Vesper hookah today uh, from Russia, uh, courtesy of Peter Smoke USA, who uh, sold me this hookah, which I love very much, uh, using the DSH uh, molasses catcher on here. We've got the beautiful uh, custom Moses hose, and uh, then we'll be uh, getting ready to smoke some element. So, all right, let's uh, head over to my packing station here, and uh, let's discuss what we're going to be doing. I'm going to get the coals on now because I'm going to be using um, uh, three cubes uh, in the uh, Cloud Lotus. So, might as well get these uh, uh, cubes going now because I'm going to take you know, seven or eight minutes. Uh, and uh, what I'm using today is uh, black cocoa uh, cubes. So I've got three of these. Put these on right now, and then we'll start discussing the tobacco. All right. Push this out of the way. All right. So here we are. Cookie Monster. All right. I already got a small package open already because I've already smoked two bowls, just, uh, just so you know. Um, Cookie Monster. Basically, the name says it all. It, it tastes like fresh baked cookies. Uh, you like the dessert flavor um, tobacco, you're going to love this. This is absolutely phenomenal. Um, uh, Olga walked in while I was smoking it the first time. She's like, smells like you're baking something. And I said, yeah, it's called Cookie Monster. And uh, it tastes just like uh, fresh baked cookies. So the, the aroma in the house will smell like, um, like you're baking. So that's a pretty cool cool thing but anyways uh element tobacco okay gonna be uh, uh smoking um uh let's see we've got let's open this up here okay this is the uh water line the uh, uh the earth line the average line right now and uh let's see we've got an eggy bowl this is the element bowl that we're going to be using. And uh, so what I'm going to do with packing this bowl is, okay, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to fluff pack this and under pack it a bit, okay? And I'm going to leave the center hole open uh, for airflow. But I will fluff pack it. And uh, just an FYI, with this tobacco, it, it is kind of a wet tobacco. So I would highly recommend you use a molasses catcher when you use this tobacco. Uh, I, you know, not you don't have to but you know if you want to not have to worry about cleaning up your base or your hookah after a smoke or two for a flavor switch uh, go ahead and, and use a molasses catcher because this is kind of a wet tobacco i've had a lot of syrup caught in my uh, molasses catcher so i would you wouldn't uh you wouldn't go wrong by having one okay so i'm going to start packing this bowl and then we'll go over it all together here and uh i'll show you how i packed it How y'all doing today? Hey Mo, how are ya? Whoop, we've got hoses falling left and right here. All right, so that one is empty. So um, let's open this one here. Okay, let's see here. A 
again, fluff packing, and uh, gonna leave the center hole open on this eggy bowl. Element can take a lot of heat, so uh, don't worry about the uh, about the heat factor on um, what you're doing here. So that's a good thing. And um, this tobacco, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of people smoke this in different ways. It's a very versatile tobacco. I mean, you really can't screw it up. So honestly, uh, I, you know, it's going to smoke really well no matter how you, you, you pack your bowl. So uh, I've done the donut pack with this tobacco. I've done a, just a I've done a, a, a semi-dense pack. I've done the fluff pack, uh, the under pack here, which I'm going to do here, just a slight under pack, fluff bowl in the eggy, and that works really, really good. So, um, let's see here, get rid of this. I like to fix my tobacco a little bit before we get going. I'm going to turn this fan on here. Hopefully the noise isn't too loud. Get these coals going a little bit faster. All right. So how you all doing this Sunday? Today is, um, it's Easter for me at my house. It's the Orthodox Easter right now. So um, my wife being Russian uh, celebrates Easter today. This is the Orthodox Easter. So everybody who is celebrating uh, the Orthodox Easter, happy Easter. So, uh, we're just taking it easy and uh, I'm going to be grilling some Russian shashlik today. I'm making pork kebabs, uh, corn on the cob, I'm making rice. We've got some uh, uh, Middle Eastern Mediterranean bread on the side and uh, a couple uh, Russian salads. My wife's making a beet salad and uh, we're going to have a Russian salad that she makes. And uh, so we're going to be eating good today. All right, so let me clean this up a little bit. And I'll show you my pack. Like I said, it's just it's a slight underpack, fluff pack, and um, we're going to use the uh, the lotus. All right. Got that here. Get rid of this. I like to clean as I go, guys. I, I I can't handle a mess. I know. Just just me. I guess that's what Olga loves about me, because I'm not a slob. All right. So, I don't know if you can see that in the light here. Slight underpack, fluff, center hole open, and uh, that's how we're gonna smoke this today. Uh, I found this eggy bowl works really good packed this way. And uh, for lots of airflow and a nice open draw. And uh, I think if you use an eggy bowl, that will work really, really well to do it that way. Again, Cookie Monster element on the back of the box. It's got the production date on the back. So as you see, uh, very nice packaging as always. Element does an amazing job packing their tobacco. And... Um, and you will love this flavor if you're into dessert flavors. So uh, let's bring this over by the hookup. Dylan, how are you? Thanks for joining. All right. Stand by, everybody. Well, pack this, put this bowl on here. Okay, so. We're in there, and uh, let's go get the um, let's go get the uh, lotus. We'll put that on there. I'm doing good, Dylan. Thanks for asking. Yeah, today is um, Orthodox Easter, so today's uh, we're celebrating Easter today because my wife is Orthodox uh, from Russia, and so today's for Easter, so we're celebrating. All right. So we got going on here. All right, now I'm just waiting on the coals. Okay, so I've got the eggy bowl. I've got the lotus on top here. Slight underpack, center hole open, and that's how we're going to be smoking today. All right, let's go check our coals out. Hey, thanks, Dylan. I appreciate you. 
So yeah, we my kids are happy. We celebrate two Easter's in my house. So uh, we've got regular uh, Easter here, and then we've got the Russian Easter. So it's actually pretty good for them. All right, let me just uh, flip these coals. We're getting there. Couple more minutes, everybody. Yeah, when you use cubes, it definitely takes a bit longer to get started, that's for sure. But, you know, using a lotus is the best to use, right? All right. Well, while we're waiting for that, we can chat a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Okay, anybody have any questions uh, regarding... I know Element's been out for a while, and most everybody is familiar with, with Element uh, at this point. But uh, so right now uh, we're smoking uh, the um, Element Water line, uh, which is their average line. And uh, so uh, not too strong, not too powerful. Um, we've got the Air line, which is their, uh, their, their entry level uh, tobacco for strength. And you've got the water and then you've got the earth, which is strong. And then you've got the fire, which is very, very strong tobacco. So we've got Cookie Monster today. And uh, Cookie Monster is out of the water line, so that's what we're, we're smoking. Uh, I've smoked it straight, and um, and I've smoked it mixed uh, uh, with some other uh, flavor, and I'll go over that here in a minute. Uh, how's the smell? Dylan, um, Cookie Monster smells like uh, baking cookies. Uh, and literally, when you fire it up, and the aroma in, in your area will just smell like you're baking my wife, Olga, came in while I was smoking the first time. She's like, oh my gosh, it smells like we're baking in the house. Like, I want to eat something. So she got hungry just from the smell. So it, it literally smells, when you open up the package, you will have that aroma uh, of a freshly baking product. And it, and it does have a nice flavor uh, of cookies. So if you, if you like a dessert flavor of uh, tobacco, this one's really good. Uh, I actually uh, packed this uh with some uh i tried to do this with uh some trifecta peppermint milkshake and uh actually it was pretty damn good to be honest with you so uh yeah it's not it's a pretty good pretty good tobacco to use for a mixer as well and i and i've loved it so far hey christian how are you appreciate you joining so uh we're getting ready to smoke cookie monster from element and um coals are about 75% uh, done. Yeah, milk and cookies uh, from Eternal also uh, is, is very good. But uh, I tell you, the, um, the Element Tobacco, the flavor uh, will go on for, I smoked it for an hour and 45 minutes. Um, and it probably could have kept on going, but I had to finish up and get to bed the first time I tried it. But yeah, we'll smoke uh, and have good flavor a very long time. Like I said, uh, Element Tobacco tends to be on the wetter side of tobacco, so I highly recommend using a uh, molasses catcher when smoking this tobacco. Uh, it, if I was using my glass uh, mola catcher right now, uh, after about you know, 20 minutes of smoking, it, the water is going to be a, a, a dark brown. So obviously the syrup is coming down into, into your uh, hookah or, or base, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, you know you're using is going to get dirty so if you have a molasses catcher it's definitely going to help keep everything clean between um, between um, smoking different flavors uh, what coals do you use uh, so, well I have a mix of coals let's go take a look over here I'll show you what I I've got I've got uh, superior cocos I've got uh, cu cubettes on here right now I've got some shaman XLs hookah John flats and uh, over here I've got the black cocoa from Germany so that's what we're, we're going to do today. And these look like we're almost about ready here. Just one cube here is almost there. Move this over a little bit. But uh, yeah, so we're going to use the, um, uh, the uh, black cocos from Germany today in the, uh, uh, in the Lotus. But uh, depending on what, what, you know, what I'm smoking, if I'm smoking Tangiers, I'm using, uh, usually using cubettes or, or, or flats. Um, and everything else, uh, I'm using cubes and depending on, you know, if I'm using the, um, if I'm, if I'm using the Lotus or if I'm just smoking on foil, I'll use the cubes most of the time. 
Tangiers, I'm always using flats or, or uh, cubats, you know. So uh, we're almost there. I'm going to try and speed this up. I'm going to use my fan here. Oh, shut that off here. So we're going to speed this up real quick so we can get smoking. Uh, thank you. I can't read what that says. Sorry, Cameron. But anyways, um, so we are about done here. Looking good. What'd you think? I think we're done. Yeah. We are on fire. Alrighty. Go back to putting this in the Lotus. Alright, let's the camera as I do this. Okay. And then when I get this in load it up here I usually kind of help heat up the lotus by using the hookah starter here I blow some air on there that's what I usually do all right so you can see we got going on all right just use this a little bit get this thing heated up a little quicker never smoked element how is it compared to something like dark side uh, Honestly, I've only tried dark side uh, maybe twice in my life, and um, it was very good, but I don't know much about it as far as uh, packing and, uh, and everything, but it was a very, very decent tobacco, and as everybody talked highly about it. Element, I've been smoking now for a couple months, and I absolutely love it. I've tried many flavors, and uh, flavor profiles are on point. So whatever your whatever the packaging says it is, usually the flavor is right there. So uh, you know you wouldn't um, you're gonna get what you what you what you bought. If you like blueberry, you're gonna it's gonna taste like a blueberry. So um, you know I've got Irish cream, very very good good flavor as well. Uh, profile name speaks all. Uh, so a great for pomelo, also excellent. So there's quite a quite a few flavors. The profiles are, are spot on. They um, they got the different lines. Uh, you got your your water, you know, uh, earth, and uh, so we, we've got. Um, what does this say? I'm sorry. It seems like it's packed the same way, judging the way you pack this element. I've never had element. Yeah, it's it's. You definitely wanna you know on this this tobacco you can pretty much do anything and you're not gonna screw it up. Uh, in the eggy bowl, definitely gonna fluff pack it. Keep your center hole open. I use uh, a lotus and it and it smokes really really well. I've used a funnel bowl. I've done uh, a fluff puff, a uh, fluff puff, a fluff pack in a funnel bowl, and I've also done a semi dense pack in, in a in a funnel bowl before too, just to try out different methods to see what would happen if I if I packed it a little bit tighter. Would it, would it smoke any different? Uh, I've done a donut pack uh, in a funnel bowl. Every time I've had a good smoke, I've never you know screwed it up. So that's that's something good to say about the tobacco. So really hard to screw it up. Uh, it will take heavy heat, so you can use uh, this tobacco with a lot of heat, and you're not gonna, you know, have to worry about burning it. So that's also very good. So all right, let me get this out here, and let's try getting some some clouds going. I know it's gonna take a few minutes. <sighs> Got this beautiful uh, element mouthpiece that they sent me with my last uh, delivery of tobacco. You'll get lots of clouds once this thing gets going, and uh, you'll be very, very happy with the cloud output. Flavor profile is going to last uh, at least an hour and 30 minutes, I've found, for the most part, which is very, very decent. I've, I've gotten it longer than two, depending on what I was smoking, so that, you know, you're going to get a good, long, uh, uh, flavored smoke with this tobacco. Bob, how are you? He says, good afternoon. When will we be able to get this in the States or have to order straight from Russia. 
Bob, that's a good question. Um, uh, speaking with uh, Vladimir uh, from Element, right now they're pushing to get this through, but you know, there's a lot of things going on, of course, as we all know in the world, so it, everything is kind of held back right now. I don't know. Uh, we, it was supposed to be sometime this year. Uh, it, hopefully it will get here. I can't tell you when. Uh, I know uh, Element is close to being able to bring this over to the U.S., but uh, with coronavirus right now, it's kind of hard to say if you know what's going to, if it's going to delay it further than anticipated, or is it going to be out here, you know, by the uh, by the end of summer? Uh, I'm not really sure. I wish I had more answers for you on that. Uh, as I find out things from Element, I will definitely forward it to all of you, so you all know. Good morning, Tanner. How are you, my brother? I'm doing good. Get this thing going. Okay, we're starting to get it now. And like I said, the aroma in here is is phenomenal. It just smells like uh, my wife is baking cookies, just like the name Cookie Monster. I mean, it's really, really, really good. So if you're a dessert flavored guy, this or gal, this is really a great, great flavor. I uh, absolutely love it. Great clouds, as you can see. Uh, I mean, it, this smokes really, really good. Like, uh, again, I'm using an eggy bowl. I'm using the Element eggy bowl. Uh, I've got it fluff packed, slight under pack, center hole open. And just put your cloud on there, your lotus on there, and uh, you are, you know, within a couple minutes, you're smoking like a champ. So, uh, anybody else have some questions? Let's see. I would guess that dark side is heavier than elements, air, and water lines, which are their weaker the lines. And let me see. Hold on. Sorry. Let's see if my and fire lines are heavier than dark side, but again, I've never had element, not 100% sure. And you know, it, you, you may be right, I'm not sure, I haven't had much dark side. Um, I've tried dark side uh, two times, uh, and I was my first time was with uh, Jack Kasmanian at, at his lounge, Oasis in Vegas. Um, I tried uh, Banana Papa, which was a, a very, very good tobacco. It burned for a long time. Uh, flavor lasts a long time. Uh, you know, a lot of the tobaccos coming out of Russia these days are, are, are wonderful. Unfortunately, we're just not able to get them here like we would want them to right now. And uh, But when they do hit the U.S. market, I think everybody's going to find uh, the products coming from Russia, like Element, which is phenomenal to be some of the top tobaccos you've ever smoked in your life. So, uh, very forgiving tobaccos. Uh, you know, especially the element, very forgiving how you pack your bowl, so that's a good thing. Uh, what do you mean in regards to heavier? As far as, uh, uh we're talking about like uh, a heavier smoke, like a stronger smoke, uh, more nicotine. So, uh, when, I, when I'm talking about um, a heavier smoke, you're going to have a higher nicotine contact, it's going to be stronger. So, um, let me sh show you here. If you go on the element-tobacco.ru, uh, on use, uh, Google Chrome, uh, you'll be able to uh, go to Element there because everything's in Russian. If you go to element-tobacco.ru uh, on Google Chrome, everything will be in English and we'll go over the, all the uh, uh, profiles of their tobacco, the different strengths. So they start with their weakest line, which is as far as strength wise, uh, very good for uh, beginners. It's called the airline. Right after that, you've got your water line, and then you've got your earth, and then you've got your fire, which is a very strong. And I don't know if you can see this; probably hard to see with the with the lighting. What? No, nah, you can't see it. Um, you know, maybe you can see it with this. You've got you. You see the lines. The lines represent uh, different strengths. Okay. Uh, right. The lines that you're looking at right now is their fire line. Okay. So the the waving line straight down like that. That's their biggest strength right there. Okay, right now with the four lines going across, that's the earth. That's a strong, that's the a strong uh, line right there. You go to the next one. You got the wavy. That's the water. This is the average strength. That's what I'm smoking right now. 
and then you got the lots of squiggly lines, and that's the, uh, I mean, the, the wave line here. I'm sorry, this is the water line right here. It's hard to see with my sunglasses on. Okay, and then we got the, the air line. So every, the, the different uh, string profiles for the, the, the names are, are represented by these lines. So uh, if you go on their website, you'll be able to, you know, read more about their strength. Sure, anytime. Hey, Matt, how are you, brother? James, how are you? So let's turn the camera around, take a look at this whole setup. So, we've got three cubes, as you can see. We've got the uh, Element Eggy Ball. I'm using a Molasses Catcher by DSH, uh, the Universal one. I've got the Vesper Hookah that I purchased from Peter Smoke USA. I've got my beautiful custom Moses hose uh, with a Smoking with Bob logo. Check this out. That's pretty cool, huh? Derek and his sister are absolutely artists like you wouldn't imagine. Smoking with Bob, huh? Pretty cool. So, uh, that's what I'm using today. Yo, Travis, how are you, brother? Yeah, we're just going over Element Cookie Monster. I was just telling everybody that if you like dessert flavors, this one is absolutely phenomenal. Olga walks in, she thinks I'm actually baking. It smells so good in here, uh, like you're baking cookies. Uh, it's a really great dessert flavor. Uh, I've tried mixing it one time uh, with uh, PM, uh, Peppermint Milkshake, and that was actually a very, very nice mix. So I've done that. Uh, I'm smoking it straight right now, and uh, it tastes like uh, baked cookies. So absolutely love it. Thanks, man. <laughs> And I was telling everybody that uh, with Element, right now I have it packed in an Eggy Bowl. I've got it fluff packed. Uh, I've got it uh, slightly underpacked and the center hole open uh, with the, uh, the Lotus in there. And smokes phenomenal uh, this way in the Eggy Bowl. Uh, I've done the funnel bowl. Uh, so, and I've done uh, a fluff pack in a funnel. I've done a semi-dense semi pack in a funnel. Can't really fuck up this tobacco. It's gonna smoke well either way. It takes high heat, so that's a good thing. Travis, I'll hit you. Hit me up later, and we'll talk about this Cookie Monster more. All right. So, but yeah, man, it's uh, it's a it's a great great tobacco. Uh, I love their cola. I've done their cola with a cherry, and just like a cherry coke. It's phenomenal. Add a, and then if you want to add a little ice to it, the Moro's is their ice flavor. And uh, that's a really, really phenomenal mix. The Irish cream, if you like Irish cream coffee, there you go. That's what you're going to get. And uh, the Irish cream is very, very good. Sounds good, Travis. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really digging this flavor. Um, Great morning smoke with a cup of coffee. I already had three cups of coffee this morning, so I'm kind of coffeeed out. But this is, uh, I love having a, 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 a cappuccino, an Americano, or just straight coffee with uh, dessert flavors. It really, really is a good combination if you like pairing things, you know. Uh, certain teas, uh, you know, go really good with certain tobaccos and certain beers. You know, you, just like you pairing anything, wines, beers, coffee, but uh, these dessert flavored tobaccos pair very, very well with, uh, with coffee. So great clouds, great tobacco. Anybody have any questions before we get started, before I end this thing up? Alrighty, well there you have it, Element, Tobacco, Cookie Monster, a definite buy when it hits the market. You have to try this flavor. It is definitely a, a very, very good 
dessert flavored tobacco. You'll love it. And uh, again, if anybody's got questions about this tobacco, I know it hasn't hit the market yet, but you can go to their website, which is element-tobacco.ru. Use Google Chrome, everything will be in English, and you can go over all the different uh, strength lines and all the different flavor profiles on there. Uh, Travis is asking, how long does the flavor last you? Um, I was just talking about this. I smoked two bowls and um, I stopped smoking after an hour and a half, but I still had really, really good flavor after an hour and a half. So it probably could have gone over two hours. I just didn't have time to finish the bowl each time I smoked these. So uh, definitely, I can I can guarantee an hour and a half. Uh, and I'm sure you can get two. I've gotten over two hours with my cola and, and cherry mix. Easy. I got two hours and 15 minutes with really, really good flavor. Uh, I guess part of that, this being able to take high heat is really good. So, uh, but I, I don't scorch my tobacco. I make sure that I've got the proper, proper heat on there and uh, watch everything, even though it does take high heat. Uh, definitely you're going to get a good good long uh, flavor uh, out of this. And Travis, you know so much about uh, dark side, which I don't. So uh, a lot of people ask me about dark side. Uh, I don't know much about, you know, dark side because I I don't have any tobacco. I've tried it twice and, um, and uh, you know, it was very good. I just don't have a lot of experience with that. So I've got some questions, comparisons between this and dark side, uh, uh, how long the flavor lasts, the strength profiles. I don't have the information for dark side because uh, I, I don't get it. Element has been kind enough uh, to uh, make me one of their reviewers of their tobacco to try it out and uh, show the community their flavor profiles and, uh, and strength. Hey Derek, how are you brother? Derek, ho ho ho, look what we got here brother. Yes, your custom hose. So again, let's uh, show the setup before we wrap this up. We've got the uh, Element Eggy Bowl. We've got the, the uh, Lotus, the Vespa from Peter Smoke, and we've got the Moses hose covering my face right now. There we go. There we go. And. Uh, the element tobacco. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for uh, uh, coming in and watching Smoking with Bob, the Element uh, Cookie Monster review. We appreciate you all. Stay safe out there. Be healthy. Enjoy your time with your family. This this stuff is starting to wind down. We hope in the next uh, next month or two, and we'll start getting our lives back to normal. And uh, let's hope uh, we can maybe meet up in Vegas if Expo doesn't go and things start to open up. I'm going to Vegas either way with Olga and I'd like to party with anybody who's out there if the city opens up, uh, even if there's no expo, I'll be in Vegas. So hopefully uh, everything opens up and we can go to Vegas and meet up and smoke. We can go to Oasis, hang out with Jack and all of our friends. Of course, we are here smoking with Bob. Thanks, Derek, I appreciate you. All right, everybody, listen, enjoy your Sunday. Happy Easter to those who are celebrating the Orthodox Easter today, as I am in my household. God bless everybody. God bless Hookah University. Let's all stay safe and uh, have a great day. Peace out.